This is a classical guitar, and the top on this classical guitar is master grade German spruce. It started out life as something like this raw top here. But what's the difference between master grade and the lower grade such as A grade? Hi everyone, this is Sean from Hancock Guitars. I'm going to be talking about the grading of spruce tops today. I'm going to be using German spruce as an example, but this applies equally to other spruces such as Sitka spruce. So here we have five different uh, German spruce tops ranging from A grade through to master grade. So it's A, AA, AAA, 4A and master grade. It may not be obvious what the difference is between those and you may be wondering whether it's worth spending the extra money for something like master grade. Master grade can be up to five times more expensive than something like A grade. So I'll explain what the differences are between them and what value you're getting from the higher grade timbers. So I'm going to get rid of the three middle grades for now and just focus on the A grade and the master grade because they're going to have the most difference between them. The other grades are kind of just a step up from the A grade, each grade, till you get to the master. I'll start with the master grade. Like all of the tops, it starts as two book matched halves. So you get a symmetrical grain pattern because the two halves are folded open. Now master grade has an extremely straight grain for timber running through it and it's evenly spaced so you can see the growth rings or the grains are fairly even right across the piece of wood. There's no big dark grains hardly and it's also very what's called quarter sawn that is uh, the end grain is at 90 degrees to the surface of the timber and that's that's going to result into these medullary rays or silking as it's called which you can see running across the timber little little rays there so that makes a nice silky looking top back on to the a grade in most ways it resembles the master grade it, this piece is quite quarter sawn and it still has nice tight grain except the grain isn't as even from one side to the other so you can see it starts off finer and works its way out to being quite wide towards the edges and it has a lot of darker grains here and there throughout it so you can see for instance here they call them red lines these darker grains so when the guitar is finished that makes for a more um, uneven looking top. It can also have a little bit of a curve in the grain which you can see in this top whereas the master grade doesn't have that, it's very straight. So you might be guessing that these things I'm talking about are mostly aesthetic. They, they I haven't really talked about the sound of the tops. And to be honest, there's not really a whole lot of difference acoustically between something like A grade and master grade. They're both very strong, they have good musical qualities, and they're gonna make a good sounding guitar. So if you're building your first guitar or you just wanna build an economical guitar, it's well worth considering either A grade or one of the lower grades. You don't necessarily have to spring for master grade. I often will use master grade, but sometimes I'll use something like AAA or 4A if I like a particular quality in the piece of wood. The other way to look at it is if you're gonna spend a lot of time building a handmade guitar, you're putting the hours in, maybe you wanna pay a little bit extra and get the absolute best timber because that's gonna make you happy with the guitar at the end. So it's it's kind of a personal preference thing, but don't be afraid of using uh, lower grade spruces. They give a great sound and they're friendly on your wallet. I hope that that's kind of cleared up the difference between the grades of German spruce and other spruces. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button or subscribe to our channel.